Nicole, a fitness expert from sparkpeople.com. Go ahead and start marching with me for this cardio kickboxing routine. It's only gonna take you about 10 minutes to complete. So marching right here is our warm up. Let's do a few circles back with the shoulders. Lift those knees and stand tall with the abs in tight. Keep in mind that in this workout, all the exercises are gonna vary in intensity. Take your shoulders forward. So if you need to modify, make your movements smaller, or if anything is too hard, return to this march in place. Just make sure you never stop completely. Let's lift the arms up and down. Nice deep breaths in. Lift your knees a little higher as we prepare for this workout. Good. Nice steady breath. And just make sure you go at your own pace. You can always go slower or faster than I go if you need to. One more time up. And pump those arms at your sides. Lift the knees. We're gonna start with a grapevine. In five, three, two, one. We're going to the left first. So it's left, right, left, touch. Right, left, right, touch. You just step behind. Make sure you get your arms moving. The more you can move your arms, the more you're gonna get out of your workout. It's gonna help to elevate your heart rate. Coming up, we're gonna add a knee right here. So instead of that touch with the foot, you're adding a knee, making it a little more intense. Arms are moving. The bigger you can step side to side, the harder you're working here. So make it a little smaller if you need to. Coming up, we're gonna add punches to this. Whatever foot you step on, that's the arm you punch with. Front jabs. And remember, a front punch, you wanna think about punching and pulling. So you punch and pull that arm back. Got a few more here. Breathe steady. Coming up, we'll move into a repeater knee. Let's bring it back to the center and come together. You're going to step knee three times. Step back for three, other side. Two, three, step, 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 and knee. Two, three, step, 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 and knee. Good, a few more seconds here. Drive that knee up. Get your arms involved. Coming up, we're gonna move this into a high knee march. Our arms will be similar. Step, 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 and high knee grabs. Arms are still reaching tall. Pull that knee up toward your elbows. Good, now you can make this faster or slower. You can make your movement smaller if you need to. And you can get rid of your arms completely to make it a little easier. A few more seconds here. Coming up, we're gonna turn this knee into a front kick, so we'll be alternating sides. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see. In three, two, one, front kick. Switch sides. Arms are up like you're in defense, right there in front of the chest or the chin. And notice on my kick, I lift with the knee, then extend. It doesn't have to be high. A smaller kick is easier. Good, a few more seconds there. Kick at your own level. Keep those abs in nice and tight. Five seconds. Here's three, two, one. Turn to the front. Step tap wide. Reach your arm up and overhead. Got a wide stance with the feet here. Abs are pulled in nice and tight. Notice I'm pivoting on the foot a little bit side to side. As we continue this move, we're gonna begin to deepen that squat in the middle. The lower you squat there, like you're ducking away from a punch, the harder you're working. Good, a few more seconds, and then this reach is gonna turn into a cross punch. In three, two, one, cross punch. Notice I'm turning all the way to the side. I'm still squatting and ducking in the center. Punch and pull in with the arm. Good, remember to breathe there. We've got a few more seconds like this. Try to stay low. Coming up, we have 30 seconds of jumping jacks. It's gonna be a little more intense, so stay with it. In three, two, one, jumping jacks. Out and in. And remember, you can always make this smaller or modify with one side at a time. <sighs> nice deep breath to help you here. We've got a little more complicated move coming up. Just stick with it the best you can. Remember to stay moving. We'll start it off slow, then speed it up. Five seconds here. In three, two, 
one on the left side. We'll punch, cross, hook, lift the front knee. Punch, cross, hook, front knee. Now faster if you can. You're always punching when you step forward. Remember to punch and pull that arm in. We've got about 10 more seconds on this side, then we'll switch. Really lift that knee. One more time. I want you to switch to the other side, nice and slow. Jab, cross, hook, knee. Jab, cross, hook, knee. Now faster. You work at your own level. Make sure you don't lock out the elbow on your punches. Keep it a little bit soft. Lift that knee, pull the abs in tight. Coming up, we have a front kick exercise. One more time through here. Last one. Now we're gonna stay facing this way. Right leg, low, middle, high jumping jack. Switch sides, low, middle, high jumping jack and switch. Middle, high, and jack. Good, maintain that balance, abs in nice and tight. Remember to always lift with the knee first on a front kick. Knee lifts, then the leg extends. Good, a few more here, abs in, arms are up. Let's do one more time on each side, you're almost done with this workout. High kick, last one, low, middle, high, turn to the front, scissor your legs, and add a front jab. This is our last 30 seconds of your workout. Get that intensity up in these last few seconds. Remember to pull that arm back strong toward you. Good, keep those legs moving. Work at your own pace. We've got our cool down coming up. 15 seconds here. Can you finish a little faster or stronger? Just as strong as you started. Five seconds. Three, two, one. March it out. Now for our cool down, we never just want to stop. You want to keep your body moving and gradually catch your breath and bring your heart rate down. So we're just marching in place for now, slowing down the breath. The march doesn't have to be fast. As we continue with the cool down, it'll get slower and slower, smaller and smaller. I'm already slowing it down a little more, lifting my knees a little less, moving my arms even less. Deep breath in and out. If you're not cooled down and ready to stretch, you haven't caught your breath, I want you to pause the video and continue marching as long as you need to until you're ready to move on. All right, we've got a couple more minutes here to finish with our stretches. Let's take those feet nice and wide and bring your march to a stop. I want you to squat down and reach up overhead. Release your arms, do that one more time. Nice deep breath and release, circle the shoulders back four times. Nice deep breath along with your movement. One more time here. Good, let's lift the arms up to the sides in line with the shoulders. I'm gonna turn one foot out and the other foot forward. Reach, then drop your hand wherever it falls. Think about opening your chest to the front of the room. Your hand might be on your thigh, on your ankle, or even on the floor. From here, we'll deepen this stretch. I want you to turn over that leg, bringing your chest towards the leg. And you can bend your knees a little bit here if you need to. Take another deep breath in. On your exhale, slowly roll the spine up. Draw the shoulders down, lift the arms, turn your feet the opposite way. Reach out to the side, drop your hand down. Feel that stretch through the legs and the chest and arms. Open up to the front and release down. Bring your torso over your leg. Remember to breathe. You stretch through your own range of motion. And let's slowly roll it back up. Draw the shoulders down and back. I want you to lace your fingers back behind you, squeezing through the shoulder blades and lengthening your arms back behind you up toward the ceiling. And release. Shoulder, sho shoulder circles back. Two more times and bring those circles forward for two. Last one. All right, you're finished with your 10 minute cardio kickboxing workout. Great job. For more fitness ideas, visit sparkpeople.com.